Good morning children. In today's class we are going to learn some expansions in binomial theorem. When n is a rational exponent. First term being 1 and the second term modulus is below 1. How shall I expand? See both are positive. Here negative, here positive. Here positive, here negative or both are negative. How to remember? Always first term is 1. When the power is plus n, it is n. Second term, n, n minus 1 by 1 into 2. Third term, n, n minus 1, n minus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 and so on. The second term, x. Here x power 0 which is 1. Second x. x squared. x cube and so on. A simple expression to remember. What about this minus symbol? The same idea but alternately positive and negative. So the expansion is one and the same. Plus, minus, plus, minus and so on. What about the next expansion? What is different in that? Power is negative. Now also here plus here minus. First term 1. Alternately positive and negative. X will come. X square. X cube and so on. How about the coefficients? When it is negative, I write n, n into n plus 1 by 1 into 2, n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 and so on. When both are negative, the same expansion but now all the terms are positive. So how to remember the formula if both are positive or both are negative. All the terms are positive. But any one is negative like these two. Alternately positive and negative. In all the expansions first term 1, second term x and it goes x squared, x cube and so on. Plus n tells me n, n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2 and so on. Minus n tells me n, n into n plus 1 by 1 into 2 and so on. Let us proceed with the exercise. Exercise 5.4, question number 1. Expand in the ascending powers of x and find the condition for which it is valid. First subdivision 1 by 5 plus x. I want to write in this pattern. So take 5 plus x to the numerator. It is 5 plus x power minus 1. The next step. Take 5 out. What do you mean by taking 5 out? 5 power minus 1. Every term divide by 5. The whole power minus 1. 5 power minus 1 is 1 by 5. 5 by 5 is 1 plus x by 5 the whole power minus 1. When mod x by 5 is less than 1, I can apply the series 1 plus something which is less than 1 in modulus the whole power minus 1. I put n equals to 1. See what happens to the series. It is 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is 1 minus n is 1. 1 into x plus 1 into 1 plus 1. So it gets cancelled. I get x square minus 1. 1 plus 1. 1 plus 2 gets cancelled. I am left with x cube and so on. Whenever mod x is less than 1. So applying this formula here. 
here x is equal to x by 5. So the original question 1 by 5 plus x becomes 1 by 5 into 1 minus x by 5 plus x by 5 the whole square minus x by 5 the whole cube plus and so on provided mod x by 5 less than 1. Expanding it further 1 minus x by 5 plus x square by 25 minus x cube by 125 and so on mod x less than 5. You can either say mod x by 5 less than 1 or you can say mod x less than 5. Second subdivision 2 by 3 plus 4x the whole square. Keep 2 as it is. 3 plus 4x goes to the numerator as 3 plus 4x whole power minus 2. Again, take 2 out. So, it will be 2 into 3 power minus 2. Whenever I take a number out, it goes with the power. Every term divide by 3. So, I get 3 by 3 plus 4x by 3 whole power minus 2. Or it is 2 by 3 square into 1 plus 4x by 3 whole power minus 2. Now compare with this expansion. It is 2 by 3 plus 4x the whole square equals 2. 2 by 9 out. Applying when the power is minus 2. Here plus, here minus, alternately positive, negative. When the whole power is minus 2, remember the coefficients 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. X powers keeping on increasing. And this is valid when mod X is less than 1. So we expand this like this. 1 minus 2 into in the place of x I put 4x by 3. So modulus of 4x by 3 less than 1 I can apply this formula. 2 into x. What is x? 4x by 3 plus 3 into 4x by 3 the whole square minus 4 into 4x by 3 the whole cube and so on. Modulus of 4x by 3 less than 1. I can rewrite it. Modulus of x less than cross multiply 3 by 4. Let us expand this. 3 plus 4x the whole square in the denominator we get. 2 by 9 into 1 minus 8x by 3 plus 16x square into 3 by 9 minus 4 into 64x cubed by 27 and so on. Remember to write where it is valid. Let us write one more line. 2 by 9 into 1 minus 8x by 3 plus we can cancel 16x square by 3 minus 256x cubed by 27 and so on provided mod x less than 3 by 4. Third subdivision 5 plus x square whole power 2 by 3. We shall take 5 out. 5 comes out with the power 2 by 3 into every term divide by 5. 5 by 5 plus x square by 5 the whole power 2 by 3 or it is 5 power 2 by 3 into 5 by 5 is 1 plus x square by 5 the whole power 2 by 3. Let us recall the formula 1 plus x whole power n. Both are positive. All the terms are positive. Mod x less than 1 is the condition. And I write n n n minus 1 by 1 into 2 n n minus 1 n minus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 x x x square x cube 
and so on. As we substitute here, x is equal to x square by 5, n is equal to 2 by 3 and modulus of x square by 5 less than 1. As I substitute, 5 power 2 by 3 into 1 plus x square by 5 whole power 2 by 3 is 1 plus 2 by 3 into x square by 5 plus 2 by 3. 2 by 3 minus 1 by 1 into 2. x square by 5 the whole square plus 2 by 3. 2 by 3 minus 1 into 2 by 3 minus 2 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into x square by 5 the whole cube and so on provided mod x square less than 5 as I cross multiply. Let us simplify. Remember to write 5 power 2 by 3. That is 5 power 2 by 3 into 1 plus 2x square by 15 plus 2 by 3. 2 by 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 3 minus 1 by 3. 1 into 2 is by 2. X square by 5 square. So 5 square 25. X square we get X power 4 plus 2 by 3. 2 by 3 minus 1 is minus 1 by 3. 2 by 3 minus 2. 2 minus 6 minus 4 by 3. Whole thing into 1 into 2 into 3. X power 2 3 is 6. 5 power 3. 125 and so on because it is x square we need not put modulus because x square is always positive so we just write x square less than 5 let us expand and simplify further plus into minus minus 2 and 2 i can cancel x power 4 by 3 3s are 9. 9 into 25, 2 25. Minus into minus plus 2 we can cancel. We are left with 4 x power 6 divided by 3 3s are 9 3s are 27 3s are 81 into 125. And so on. Provided x square is less than 5 and that is the expansion for the given problem. Fourth subdivision x plus 2 the whole power minus 2 by 3. We want ascending powers of x. Naturally the number I have to take out. So I rewrite like this 2 plus x whole power minus 2 by 3. Never try to take x out. The question is ascending powers of x. So number I have to take out. 2 power minus 2 by 3 into every term divide by 2. The whole power minus 2 by 3. That is 2 power minus 2 by 3 into 1 plus x by 2 the whole power minus 2 by 3. Compare with the formula 1 plus x whole power minus n. Remember, here positive, here negative. So, alternately positive, negative and so on. Provided mod x less than 1. The power is negative tells me n. n into n plus 1 by 1 into 2. n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 and so on. The second term x tells me x, x square, x cube and so on. As I compare second term x, second term x by 2. Minus n minus 2 by 3. So n is plus 2 by 3. Mod x less than 1 tells me mod x by 2 less than 1. So, wherever n comes put 2 by 3, wherever x comes put x by 2. So, I get 2 power minus 2 by 3 into 1 minus 
n is 2 by 3, x is x by 2 plus 2 by 3, 2 by 3 plus 1 by 1 into 2, x by 2 the whole square. 2 by 3, 2 by 3 plus 1 into 2 by 3 plus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3, x by 2 the whole cube plus and so on where mod x less than 2. Check alternate positive negative plus minus plus minus plus and so on. Now let us expand it. 2 power minus 2 by 3 into 2 2 cancels x by 3. 2 and 2 cancels 1 by 3 into 3 plus 2. 5 by 3 into x square by 4 minus 2 and 2 cancels. 1 by 3 into 2 plus 3, 5 by 3, 6 plus 2, 8 by 3, divided by 1 into 3, 3. The whole thing into x cube by 8 plus and so on, mod x less than 2. Further, the next step, 1 minus x by 3 plus 5 by 9 fours are 36 x square minus 8 and 8 cancels 5 into x cube divided by 3 threes are 9 threes are 27 threes are 81 plus and so on mod x less than 2 and that is the expansion of x plus 2 the whole power minus 2 by 3. Second question, find cube root of 1001 approximately to two decimal places. Cube root tells me the whole power 1 by 3. Write it as 1000 plus 1 the whole power 1 by 3. Take 1000 out. It is 1000 power 1 by 3 into 1000 by 1000 plus 1 by 1000 whole power 1 by 3. 1000 can be written as 10 power 3 the whole power 1 by 3 into 1 plus 1 by 1000 is 0 0.001 the whole power 1 by 3. 3 and 3 cancels giving us 10 into 1 plus. How do I expand it? Remember the formula 1 plus x whole power n is. See this is this is, modulus is below 1. So I can apply the formula 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2x square and so on. Mod x less than 1. Here it is already less than 1. I can apply n is 1 by 3 x is 0 0.001. My question is 2 decimal places. So I can stop with the second term. It is 10 into 1 plus. As we divide 0 0.001 by 3, it is 0 0.0013 doesn't go 0 and it 10 by 3, 3, 3, 3, it will go on and on. But I want only two decimal places. So we just stop with this many decimals. 1 plus point triple zero triple three is 1 point triple zero triple three. Multiplying by 10, it is 10 point double zero triple three. If I approximate to two decimal places, my answer is only 10. So it is good that we give the answer as 10 point double zero triple three. We move on to the most important question of this section. Prove that cube root of x cube plus 6 minus cube root of x cube plus 3 is approximately equal to 1 by x square when x is sufficiently large. Notice the case it is sufficiently large. When x is small this expansion is valid. But when x is sufficiently large, remember, x should come in the denominator. So, sufficiently large tells me x must 
come in the denominator. This is a clue for you to remember. When x is small, it must come in the numerator. When x is sufficiently large, see that you keep x in the denominator so that 1 by x will be very small. Only when I have very small quantity of second term, I can allow this expansion. Back to the problem. Cube root of x cube plus 6 minus cube root of x cube plus 3. Cube root tells me whole power 1 by 3. Inside I have x cube plus 6. Again, x cube plus 3 whole power 1 by 3. Now, my condition says x must come in the denominator. That is, take x out. I have x cube the whole power 1 by 3. When I take x cube out, every term divide by x cube. The same idea, x cube I bring out with a power 1 by 3. So, it becomes by x cube by x cube. Simplifying, x power 3 by 3 cancels, it is x power 1. x cube by x cube is 1 plus 6 by x cube whole power 1 by 3 minus Power 3 by 3 cancels, it is x. 1 plus 3 by x cube whole power 1 by 3. Applying the expansion because x is in the denominator. 1 by x will be very small. So, I can apply the expansion. x into 1 plus 1 by 3, 6 by x cube plus and so on. We need to get 1 by x squared. So, the remaining terms I can omit. Minus x into 1 plus 1 by 3 into 3 by x cube plus and so on. The next step, multiply x in. x into 1 plus I can cancel 2 x by x cube and so on. Minus x into 1, x into 3, 3 cancels, x into 1, x by x cube and so on. The next step, x plus 2 by x square minus x plus 1 by x square. I ignore the remaining terms so we put approximately. Minus symbol tells I can cancel x and x. We are left with 2 by x square minus 1 by x square. That is 1 by x square approximately and hence the problem. Question number 4 prove that root of 1 minus x by 1 plus x is approximately equal to 1 minus x plus x square by 2 when x is very small. Notice the condition x is very small so these expansions are valid because mod x is below 1 the next thing what do you mean by square root 1 minus x by 1 plus x the whole root tells me 1 minus x power half by 1 plus x power half taking this to the numerator 1 minus x power half into 1 plus x power minus half. As we apply the expansion, it is 1 minus half into x plus half, half minus 1 by 1 into 2 x square and so on. The second expansion, 1 minus half x plus Half into half plus 1 by 1 into 2 x square minus and so on. Simplifying 1 minus x by 2 plus half half minus 1. 1 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 divided by 2 x square and so on. Into 
1 minus x by 2 plus 1 by 2 half plus 1 1 plus 2 3 by 2 divided by 2 x square and so on. As we simplify further 1 minus x by 2 plus into minus minus x squared by 2 twos are 4 twos are 8 into 1 minus x by 2 plus only 3x square by 2 into 2 into 2 8 as we multiply 1 into I will write the same 1 minus x by 2 plus 3x square by 8 multiply with minus x by 2 minus x by 2 into 1 minus x by 2 Minus x by 2 into minus x by 2 minus into minus plus x by 2 into x by 2 x square by 4 x by 2 into 3 x square by 8 minus x by 2 into 3 x square by 8. Now we multiply with a third term minus x square by 8 into 1 minus x square by 8. Minus into minus plus x square into x x cube by 8 into 2 16. X square term and x square term minus into plus minus x square by 8 into 3 x square by 8. As we simplify 1 as it is. Minus x by 2, minus x by 2, minus 2x by 2. Taking the three terms separately. 3x square by 8 plus x square by 4 minus x square by 8. LCM is 8. We have 3x square plus 2x square minus x square or 4x square by 8 that is x square by 2. So, as we simplify this answer and we substitute here, we get all the three terms together is plus x square by 2. We ignore the remaining terms as they are having x cube and higher powers. So, we just stop with x square term and let us write approximately. Hence, root of 1 minus x by 1 plus x is 1 minus x plus x square by 2 approximately and hence the problem. Question number 8. If p minus q is small compared to either p or q, then show that nth root of p by q is approximately some answer. The question starts with p by q whole power 1 by n and the question gives us a clue I want to write in terms of p minus q because the expansions are valid provided mod x below 1 or x is small we say here p minus q is small is the clue well from the given case let me multiply and divide by 2 how to write 2p p plus p by q plus q the whole power 1 by n i want p minus q so what we do add q subtract q so, I am subtracting Q, I am adding Q, divided by denominator, already Q is coming. I want P minus Q. So, add P, subtract P, the whole power 1 by N. Now, I want P minus Q, combine the other two. So, it is P plus Q plus P minus Q. The denominator in the same way we shall write p plus q q minus p. So I will write p plus q taking minus symbol out it is 
P minus Q the whole power 1 by N. My question is, I want the expansion in terms of P minus Q. So, divide by P plus Q every term. So, I will get P plus Q by P plus Q plus P minus Q by P plus Q divided by P plus Q by P plus Q minus P minus Q by P plus Q. The whole power 1 by N. It becomes 1 plus P minus Q by P plus Q by 1 minus P minus Q by P plus Q whole power 1 by N. Let us apply this expansion 1 plus N into. Here N is 1 by N. X value P minus Q by P plus Q. And that is enough. Same way denominator 1 minus N is 1 by N. X is P minus Q by P plus Q. As we take approximation, cross multiply. N into P plus Q plus P minus Q divided by N into P plus Q by N into P plus Q minus P minus Q divided by N into P plus Q. Cancelling the denominator, we get NP plus NQ plus P minus Q by NP plus NQ minus P plus Q. Taking P terms together, P common N plus 1, Q terms together, Q common N minus 1. Denominator, P terms together, P into N minus 1 plus Q terms together, Q into N plus 1. And that is the RHS. So, we started with LHS and arrived at RHS. My question is, 8th root of 15 by 16. Wherever N is coming, put 8. P is 15, Q is 16. So, N is equal to 8. P 15, Q 16 gives us 15 into 8 plus 1 plus 16 into 8 minus 1 by 15 into 8 minus 1 plus 16 into 8 plus 1. As we simplify, 9 into 15 plus 16 into 7 by 15 into 7 plus 16 into 9. And the final answer is 247 by 249 and hence the problem.